we're going to call it the blame pie. What the thing with football, like a lot of people want to just blame one person. Yeah. But football's what I like about football is is a lot of people you got to blame. It's never one person. That's baseball. That's basketball. This is different. Uh let's let's divvy it up. Who gets the most blame? Let let's get, break up the pie for the blame of this loss to the Packers. Yeah, for me, I'm going to break my pie up into four parts. So the first part, the biggest part, half of the pie, I'm putting on Kyle Shanahan. And there's there's a lot of reasons why. I just think, it, going back to last week, I think he had clock management issues in the first half. I think he got bailed out with them getting a touchdown, scoring in less than 30 seconds once they got to the 50-yard line after eating up three and a half minutes to get there. I felt like that was poor clock management. And then this week, he did it again. You had a situation at the end of the game, and I get it. Your defense ultimately gave up those points. But you had a situation at the end of that game where the clock is running. 42 seconds left on a running clock. You have 12 seconds left on a play clock, and you snap the ball at 12 seconds. Yeah. Now everybody's like, well, check should have gone down at the one. No, he shouldn't have. He should have tried to score, right? Right. Right. You get to be in Jimmy's ear until the 15 second mark. Why yeah. are you not telling him, Jimmy, yeah. we're running the clock down. Take That's it down right. as far as you can. Let's take it down to three. We don't want to give a defense a tell, take it down to one, but let's take it down to three, five, whatever. If any of those things happen, even if they take it down to seven, that game's over. Green Bay doesn't have enough time. That was issue. That was a major issue. And obviously yeah. it cost him the game. The other part was that fourth down and one. You're at the 50 yard line and somebody asked him after the game about that play. And he said something along the lines. I wish I had the quote because it, it blew my mind, but I wish I had the quote, but he basically said, well, I thought we lost yards on that play. And so I didn't think that we should go for it. I actually thought it was a little bit longer to go than what it was. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's yeah. it, you're I, the head he, coach. It wasn't really fourth and one. It was fourth and one and a half. Yeah. Thanks. Right. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. Measure, measure, see what's going on like that. That's an issue. No. And then you, then later on in the game, you have the, the fourth and goal for Trey. Great play. You draw up. And then to start the second half, you bring Trey in again. You get exotic with the quarterback sneak with use check. You had those two plays in your arsenal and you don't go for it on fourth and one. I thought that was terrible. And then I just think offensively, he's calling still a vanilla game. There was one time I wrote during that game, it was during the third quarter, where I actually wrote Shanahan's finally in his bag, but it never came back. Shanahan, to me, deserves most of the blame. And then the last part I'll say about Shanahan is you can blame D'Amico Ryans. You can blame the lack of depth on this team. You can blame uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, whatever you want. At the end of the day, all of that rolls up to blaming Shanahan. So to me, he has to take most of that blame. At the time, when it happened, my feel was, man, this is D'Amico's. This is on D'Amico. Yeah. He yep. blew it. And then it's funny. like You sit on it, you think about it, and then you watch the tape. I don't think it was on D'Amico. I'm with you. Let me do my blame pie. I'm going to give 33%. To Kyle. Snapping it at 12 seconds left on that final play was on Kyle. He should have told Jimmy, take it down. It wouldn't have hurt the offense in any way. You had three timeouts. They had none. Why? Right. That's on Kyle, not yep. on Jimmy. Yep. That. But that's only a third of it. The next part, and you could blame this on the head coach, but I'm going to put it on the special teams too. They just kicked the ball into the end zone. They should have kicked a low line drive that bounced at the 30 or the 25 that forced. It's not a punt. They have to field it. If they don't, the Niners could field it and take the ball. You you need to let the ball hit the ground and make them recover it and takes. That's a that's another way to shave seconds off the clock. Yeah. And the fact that the Niners didn't even. It's like, did you really understand the situation you were in that you didn't even try to do that? So I'm going to put that on special teams, Richard Hightower, although that's also that's a, that's a head coach thing too, right? Maybe yeah, it. absolutely it is. Yes. And then finally on the de- on the on the final the defensive portion. I didn't like the call of quarters on the first. I didn't like calling zone on the first play. 
That yeah. being said, Fred Warner, you're the best middle linebacker in football. He called that coverage with confidence in you, knowing where they would go over the middle. Well, okay, they're going to have to throw over Fred Warner. He lines up five yards off the ball like it's the first play of the game. Dude, there's no – it's empty backfield. There is no running back in the backfield. If a guy runs a, a Texas route in front of you, good. Why are you standing <laughs> right. there? Where is your situational awareness? Yeah. What was funny is we talked to Fred Warner today, and he was like, yeah, you know, like my situation, my situational awareness was off. I don't know why I was doing what I did. I really respect so him, Garoppolo. They fall on their swords. Like they're not defensive as opposed to someone I know. Um, I respect that about Fred Warner. He, he, he just – I said he's like, I messed up. I, I don't know what I was doing. I blew that. I need to have better situation. Yeah. It's not to be – it's a fair – if I have Fred Warner and you call quarters and you – the guy in the middle of the field is Fred Warner. I, you feel confident in him, but he didn't get deep enough, and that's on him. Uh, so it's not a, it's not necessarily the worst call. It's not the best call, but it's not the worst call. And then finally, on the final catch by Devontae Adams, um, I thought it was a bracket on Adams. They said it wasn't, that it was just straight two deep man under. And Diamondor Lenore's playing it like it's zone. That's on. That's why they're not starting Diamondor Lenore. A lot of people are liking Diamondor Lenore. That dude doesn't necessarily play the right techniques at the right time because he's young. So, can I, I add gotta, something I about that play? But off of D'Amico, like Fred Warner, yeah. dude, you're you're you just got broken off with a ton of money. You're an All Pro. Play it right. And Diamondor, I mean, he's a backup. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I, I want to say something about that last play as well, and and I forgot to bring it up when when I mentioned Kyle, but that last play, if you look at it pre snap, Jimmy Ward is running all over the field, that is like true. he's that he's is lost, true. and he's pointing to Dante Johnson and telling him something. I don't know if they were mixed up in coverage or what was going on. No. You have three timeouts. Yeah. Why Just at that call point timeout. call a timeout? Call, call a timeout. It was a cluster. It was yes. A cluster the whole F. it was the whole yeah. play was a mess. And then yeah. to your point, yes, it was it was two deep man. But at that point, you've got two rookies on one side of the field. You have Hafunga and you have Lenore, who happen to be on the same side as Devontae Adams. At that point, shouldn't you call a timeout and make sure they know exactly what they need to be doing, know the situation? The whole thing Especially was rushed. When you had Jimmy Ward, like he looked like he was running around with like a chicken with his head cut he off. He did. Yeah. He, what happened was he was supposed to cover Robert Tanya, the tight end man to man. Mm -hmm. Robert Tanya was on the right side of the Packers offensive formation. Jimmy didn't find him right away. He went to the other side and just lined up there like, okay, oh, oh, he's over there. And then ran over there. And then the ball was snapped and he was kind of caught flat footed. Yep. And honestly, if they hadn't thrown the ball to Adams, who was wide freaking open, they could have thrown the ball to Tanya, who was right wide freaking open. They should have called timeout on that play. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They should have called the timeout. And then I'll, I'll just round it out. 30% goes to Jimmy. Again, it, it all rolls up, rolls up to Shanahan. Really? I could go hundred percent Shanahan, but it's, it's honestly a hundred percent Shanahan. It, it, it is. It really, it really could is. be, yeah. but I'm going to give 30% to Jimmy because he, he threw the ball backwards. Gave, he get, he threw the, he threw the ball, <laughs> exactly. backwards. He threw the ball backwards. He threw the if ball they backwards. score right there, they score a touchdown. That game's over anyways. You don't even get that. And that I, hold on. Real, that was the three point mistake, right? Like he mm -hmm. throws the ball backwards yep. and the defense did a good job limiting, limiting the Packers to a field goal, but mm -hmm. that's three points. You lost by two. Well, that's and really both, both of those plays. So they, on his two turnovers, Green Bay took the ball over at the 38 and the 32. You essentially just put your defense in a situation where they really should have given up 14 points. Now they didn't, but that's like a point guard coming in. He was responsible for 21 at most of those points because Lance and, and uh, Trenton Cannon got really the other seven for him. So he's responsible of 21, yet he gave up 14. And you're playing against a Hall of Fame quarterback who's coming off of an MVP, yeah. you're not going to win yeah. that way. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. and then the other 20% I'm going defense slash D'Amico Ryans, but mostly it's Kyle. Again, it all rolls up to Kyle.